Hi, and welcome to the session on pan balance, which is sometimes also known as the scale pan. I'm Ravi, Ravi Handa. My Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa. And my email ID is ravihanda at gmail.com. You can use these to connect with me and to provide feedback. Now, to begin with, the first thing that we need to understand is what exactly is a pan balance. I'm very sure you must have seen figures like these uh, in shops, in grocery shops, or when you're going to buy vegetables. Pan balance is essentially a sort of a comparison engine where on your left and on your left is something, let's say some weights are kept here, some weights are kept on your right and you compare. Whichever is the heavier side that goes down and whichever is the lighter side that goes up. Uh, do you know the actual weights with the pan balance? No. All you get to know is which is heavier and which is lighter. Now, there are these are the kind of questions which get asked in case of a pan balance. Let's say out of nine equal weights, one is faulty, which essentially means that eight are equal and one is lighter than the other eight. Find the least number of bearings required to identify the faulty weight using a two pan balance. So essentially, okay, I am sorry for the horrible drawing, but let's say this is your pan balance, which you are using to compare. Now, how many veins are required on a two pan balance to figure out this particular faulty weight? How do you solve this question? I would request you to pause the video here, try it out for a couple of minutes. If you are not able to solve it, then look at the solution. Okay. To continue, what you are going to do is when you have nine equal weights, you are not going to divide it as four, four, one, that would be wrong or what, what sort of comparison you are going to do. The comparison that you are going to do is 3, 3, 3. So what you are going to do is you will put three weights here and three weights here and you will compare these values. There are three weights which you will keep outside. Now, what are the possibilities? The possibilities are that they might come as equal if they come as equal, your faulty weight is in the ones which are lying outside. See, if they are equal, that means all six of them are equal. That means they are the correct weights and the fault lies outside. However, if they come as unequal or one of them is heavier than the other, then the faulty one will be wherever it is lighter. Why it will be in the lighter one? Because my faulty weight is lighter. So essentially what you have done in your problem is from nine weights, you have reduced it to a three weight problem. Now, what do you do? You do a weighing again. And this time from the three weights that you have, you compare just two of them and keep one outside. If it comes as equal, then the one which is outside is faulty. However, if it comes as unequal, then once again, whichever was the lighter weight, that is the faulty one. And do you realize what you have done? You have found out the answer to this question in two weighings. It took you just two weighings to figure out the answer. First, when you break it, broke it down as 333, three, compared the two of them. And then when you broke it down as 111 one, one, and you compared two of them. So two weighings were required when there were nine equal weights and one of them was faulty. Let us look at a very, very similar question. What is the difference between the previous question and this one? Well, the only difference is that the faulty weight now is heavier. Will that change your answer? Your earlier answer was two weighings. Will that change your answer from two weighings to three weighings or five weighings or will it bring it down to one weighing? No, your answer will still be the same. The only difference which will happen is that earlier you were picking up the lighter set or the lighter weight. Instead of the lighter set or the lighter weight, this particular time you will pick up the heavier set or the heavier weight. Why? Because your faulty weight is heavier than the usual. So if you compare it to the previous one, weights will be the same, 
breakage breakages will be 333 and 111 but the ones which you picked lighter say here you picked up the lighter set and here you picked up the lighter ball that will not happen you will break it as 333 but you will decide whichever is the heaviest set you will pick that and then that particular 3 you will break it down as 111 and from that 111 you will once again pick up the heavy one and that will be your answer to continue with the same idea very similar question nine equal weights one of them is faulty now the problem is you do not know whether the faulty weight is heavier than the usual or lighter than the usual so what are you going to do now you are going to do the exact same thing you will split it as 333 if they come as equal or uh, if they come as equal then the third one is faulty what if it they do not come as equal that is where the problem lies that you do not know whether to pick up the heavier one or to pick up the lighter one and to figure that out you will take one more way see what i am trying to say is first you compare 3 and 3 so you put three balls here three weights here three weights here and three weights outside if it comes as equal very clearly the one which is outside is faulty but what if it comes as unequal and this is what you get let me call this set a this is set b and this is set c so what do you do now where which one is faulty you know for a fact that it is either a which is faulty or b which is faulty if it is the heavier one then a is faulty if it is the lighter one then b is faulty but how do you figure that out to figure that out you do one more weighing and in this one extra weighing you compare b and c or you can do a and c also basically you compare the one which is outside if it comes as equal if b and c come as equal then a is faulty however if they come as unequal then b is faulty so what has happened is to figure out whichever was the heavier one or the lighter one see if a came, came as faulty that would mean the heavier one uh, the faulty weight is the heavy weight if b came as faulty that means the faulty weight was the light weight so all these things can be figured out but what happened you required one extra weighing for it so that means the total number of weighings that you will require is 2 which was your original answer plus one extra why that one extra to figure out whether the fault is with the heavy one or with the light one so total number of weighings required will be 3 now let us just look at a formula set so that you can solve these kind of problems easily in a faster fashion in future one weighing is required to find out the heavier or the lighter faulty weight from three weights two weighings are required to figure out the heavier or lighter from 4 to 9 so if it is four weights five weights six weights seven weights eight weights nine weights you will need two weights if it is anything from 10 to 27 10 and 27 included that is 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 19 and so on till 27 then you will need three weighings to figure out the heavier or the lighter faulty weight so with n weighings what will be your formula this is the most important part that for the heavier or lighter faulty weight n weighings are required to find out from 3 to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 till 3 to the power n complicated well not so much see in case of 3 what is it 3 cube is 27 the previous power of 3 is 9 so one more than that anything from 10 to 27 what will be your answer with four weighings what will you be able to do 3 to the power 4 is 81 so the upper limit will be 81 lower limit will be previous value of 3 is uh, power of 3 is 27 one more than that which is 28 so if the number of weights is anything between 28 and 81 then number of weights required will be 4 that is all that you need to remember in case of a pan balance oh no i'm sorry that is not the only thing that you need to remember of another very important part is this 
one extra weighing yes one extra weighing will be required if it is not known whether the faulty weight is heavier or lighter so if you remember the previous case where it was one is faulty just that was given we had done one extra weighing right this one this one extra weighing will be required if you do not know whether the faulty weight is heavier or lighter than usual let us look at just some solved examples very quickly you will see how quickly you can find out the answer now 500 equal weights one is lighter so powers of 3 powers of 3 3 to the power 4 is 81 power 5 is 243 and power 6 is 729 so 500 essentially lies in what range it is somewhere between 244 one more than 243 and 729 so this any value in this range will give you an answer of 6 when one is lighter how about the next one 700 one is heavier once again your answer will still be the 6 anything from 244 till 729 whether it is 500 whether it is 700 your answer in all cases will be 6 how about 141 141 lies in the range of 82 to 243 so theoretically speaking your answer should have been 3 to the power 5 so 5 but your answer will not be 5 why because here you just know for a fact that one is faulty you do not know whether it is heavier or lighter to figure that part out whether it is heavier or lighter you will need one extra weighing and that will lead to the answer of 6 so that is the idea here that is how you can find it out See, once you understand the concepts, as you can see, how quickly you can solve these type of questions. So, please watch the video again if you did not understand the concept or if you have any other doubts with pan balance, cane pan sort of questions, please reach out to me. My Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa and my email ID is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.